Hi, my name is Kevin Dottermo and I'm a medical application specialist at Materialize. This video will cover how to do an automatic reconstruction of the orbital floor and the maxillary sinus for cranial maxillofacial applications using the MIMICS Innovation Suite. With this tutorial, I want to show you the entire workflow going from DICOM image towards a 3D model using our scripting function. Scripting enables you to let the software automatically perform multiple steps in your workflow on different datasets. In this case, we will use a script that segments the orbital floor and the maxillary sinus automatically. This will save you time and doesn't require manual work to obtain these very thin bone structures. I will start in MIMICS and as you can see, the dataset is already loaded into the program. I segmented the skull just moments ago and if I zoom in, you will be able to see that the orbital floor is not completely closed. The scripting module in MIMICS has a full integration with Python and enables you to either write a new script or upload one from our MIMICS Innovation Suite scripting forum. This forum is intended for our software users and is free to access. You can find multiple scripts going from segmentation towards designing. This platform gives you the possibility to ask any scripting related question or upload an interesting script you would like to share with us. In this particular case, we will use following blog post. I click on the link and download the script to my PC. After unzipping the map, it is ready to be used. Let me go back to Mimix now and create a new project. Hoovering my mouse to the scripting tab and over and opening the editor toolbox. I choose the right file and let it run. The script will automatically segment the skull based on the uploaded CT images. The only thing I need to do is choose what I would like to fill. In this case, I choose to improve both the orbital floor and the maxillary sinus. Additionally, I indicate a point in the middle of the right eye socket and a point under the maxillary sinus hole. The script will then do all steps needed to fill the cavities in the bone. After that, I will unite the two masks by doing a boolean operation. And as you can see, all cavities are filled in the orbital floors and also in the cheeks. Now we can make some small adjustments, such as removing the scatter or the spine, and then actually create our 3D model. I can now wrap my part to make the surface smoother and give it a bony color. So, that is what the workflow looks like. Starting from your CT images, running a script and automatically segment the orbital floor and the maxillary sinus. Thank you for your attention.